Hey, what is up? It is the World Changer here. I hope you're having a good day. This is a video on how to get to level 65 plus on Die Rise. So at the beginning of every single round, you want to come to where I am right here because they always come all over the place if you're on the ground. And if you stay here, they all jump up onto the one spot and you got a good chance to get an idea of where all the zombies are like you can see here. So once they come too close, just jump off, don't even shoot them, just keep jumping. And then you come up to this pole, wait a second, then keep going. And then you go up to this pole, jump over it, don't go all the way up don't, unless there's zombies in your way. And then you come up this here and then you do it all over again. So I'm just going to show you guys where you should shoot the gun because anywhere else is pretty bad and it's right up this point right here. You aim it right there. Nowhere else because I notice if you shoot it anywhere else they get in your way, they get stuck and they're just everywhere. If you shoot it there it's perfect. I don't know why but yeah. And if you get it insta kill like this, if you have a machine gun, it doesn't matter, Mustang Sally, Ray Gun, it doesn't really matter, as long as you get an insta kill, come up to this pole here and just wait for them to come and just start shooting. Just a quick tip on those mutants that come up every 5 rounds, you get a free max ammo and you get a free perk if you kill them with the trampoline or the Mustang Sally or the Knuckle Busters. I highly recommend not getting the free perk while you're doing solo because then you have six perks, but if you lose two, then you only have four, and that won't be re quick revive or who's who. So you'll be stuck without any of those and no backups if you die. So in saying that, I recommend having who's who, quick revive, and juggernaut. And the fourth perk, you can choose whatever it is. It doesn't really matter, but as long as you have those three. And if some of you guys didn't know, if you have Crook Revive and Who's Who in the same combination on solo, when you go down, you just wait because you get you spawn back but because you're Who's Who, but you just wait a couple minutes, you try and survive, and then you spawn with your weapons and Juggernaut. So I think that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple different ways that something goes wrong in the middle of training. So right here, as you can see, I get blocked. So you want to turn around and go this way and just go around to this pole and then come back around like this. And that's pretty much what you have to do when they block you. But that doesn't always work as you'll see soon. And here's another way in case they're blocking the other pole. Just go right around like I do here. And usually I've never had a problem going around that corner. But you never know. So I'll just show you guys how I went down. I got up here on the top of the pole and I did the turnaround thing but I did it too early and the zombies went back down the pole and trapped me but I got to round 68 so I'm really happy with that and my my record on the leaderboards was uh, 613 so if you guys enjoyed this please leave a like and a comment and as always the world needs love.